So I've had some people, um, at this point I have five subscribers, that's crazy. Anyhow, I've had a couple people ask me about, um, <clears throat> about this Mayflash arcade fight stick, the F300. I put an octagon, octagonal restrictor plate on this, and I've had a couple people ask how they, you know, how I did it, or if I could link a video up. I don't recall the video exactly that, that showed me, but I thought I would do a really clear, simple um, video of just how I did the, the restrictor plate. So <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do is just take this apart and I'll pull the restrictor plate off and put it back on and ju just so you can see. So usually I took a bowl today, I put this towel down in it so that the joystick itself can sit down inside this. But I, when I did it the first time, I set this off to the side actually and just kind of had the joystick hanging off the side of the table. Either way, whatever works. On the back of this, <clears throat> there's six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six that you'll need to remove. They're just a Phillips head screw. I left one of them in here. I don't know why, just because. So, <clears throat> anyhow, so I'll take that off. <clears throat> And then this back plate, it pops off pretty, pretty simple. So that's the base of it right there. You can just set it to the side. I'll see if I can't get the camera down here. Sorry about the lighting in here. I don't have a professional setup. Anyhow, <laughs> so this is the restrictor plate. Try to not get the right here. This plastic piece, it has a little orange piece in here. And there's four little tiny Phillips screws we need to remove. And then after we remove those, there's these little tabs here. These tabs, they press inward to pull it all out. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm just going to get this little tool kit and I'm just using a pretty, let's see, it's a pretty tiny Phillips head. I actually had to use a, a different Phillips screwdriver. One of the screws was really tight to get out. And I was worried about stripping it, but I just snugged them up in there, so. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Four little screws. Set those aside. Now this is the trickiest part is pressing these tabs together. So this tab here and this tab diagonal from it kind of, you just kind of want to, you know, push the tab in and then just kind of lift up on it gently. It's one of those things, if you had somebody who could push them all in gently for you, you could pull it up. You just don't have enough hands to do this, but so. Okay, so that's the plate. It comes up really simple. Let me just see if I can turn it like this. So this plate fits on there. As far as um, how it's going to fit on there, <clears throat> it won't go that way because the screw holes don't line up necessarily. So when you get this, if you order this, I'll try to remember to put a link on in the description below. I picked this up off of Amazon. I want to say it was $7, $6.99, $7.99. Um, so it's real cheap. So when you open this up for the first time, you'll pull the square one off and then put this one on. Now I can see that these little things here move around so I'd be I guess I'd be careful there but anyhow 
So, and then these little pointy things, you can see there's kind of these pointy tabs. They go up, they face up, upwards if your thing's flipped up. So, anyhow, I'm going to put this back on. And when you put it back on, you're snapping it, you're putting it back. That's why you can't really go put it on the wrong way, I guess. Let's see. Because the, well, the snaps would line up. But you want to make sure the screw holes line up. These four screw holes. So, you just line that up. Screw holes are lined up. Snug it down, and it just snaps right into place. <clears throat> so there it is. It's just snapped into place. I'm going to put these four screws back in it, and then we'll put the base back on. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, this restrictor plate I saw online somewhere that you can actually remove the gold part, this inner part, and replace it with... Um, Instead of doing the whole restrictor plate, you could actually get a round restrictor plate or a square or whatever piece in there and put it in. I haven't done that. It seems like I, I saw it somewhere. I have no idea where I saw it, but I did see that you could do that. I think you'd have to order the piece off of eBay. I don't, or not eBay, but you know, maybe some other retro classic arcade stick shop or something. I don't know. Anyhow. So hopefully that's clear on that. I'll take these four sh screws and show you how quick that this is. It's pretty simple. And when I when I snug these back down, I I just you know snug them down. I didn't have to crank on them, but. boring part of the video to but yeah this is a really simple process There we go. So those are in. I just kind of snugged them down. They don't have to be ratcheted down. And then this top piece, it's real simple. It just kind of plops down in there. You just got to kind of get the one end to drop in. Come on. Really? Really? There you go. Okay, I think we got it. And then we just got the six screws. Like I say, they go in each corner. And then here. I'm not going to put those in and record myself doing that now that you got the point. So, so anyhow, that's, that's, that's it. It's pretty simple. I hope that helps you out. Um, this is my only... I, I have one other cheap fight stick that I got. I, I haven't looked at it to see if it can have an octagonal restrictor plate put on. Um, I think in one of my videos, I have a, I have a video of me changing out a the PCB B board in it. So at the time I didn't know about these the different restrictor plates. So I'm actually going to open it up sometime and see if I can change that one. But anyhow it's a lot nicer than the square restrictor plate. I find that when I play Pac-Man or Ms. Pac-Man on this, my movements are more precise. Um, that's it really. So this video and all of my blabbing took me about 10 minutes. So Really, it's you shouldn't have any problem putting this on yourself. So, um, 
anyhow, thanks for watching this video and hopefully, hopefully that works for you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them if I'm able to. Um, if you like the video, give me a like or subscribe. That would be awesome. So anyhow, that's all I have. Thanks and smell you later.